First time, Luzones at the car wash, the boys Odette car wash, the Hurricane Odette car wash. We were in back and they were shaking it like it was a freaking hurricane. Anyway, we're eating these things. Never had them before. <laughs> Pretty good. This is your blood, sir. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, you got my blood. The wash boy. Like a grape, but sweeter with a little sourness. But I think these aren't very ripe. Can I get one? Thank you so much, sir. Eat. I know I can't eat them all. Yeah. I'll end up going about them. But anyways, these are great. We're just uh, hanging out, enjoying. Car was pretty muddy from. Uh, Bohol, uh, going down all the river beds and stuff that we had to to get to waterfall. So it was time to wash the car before we head off to Shirgao. Really good though. Luzon. Luzones. Luzon? Lanzones. 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 Yes, Lanzones. All right. Right on. Catch you later. Hey, how's it going? So we're headed to Shirgao City. Shirgao City. We just got the car washed. Uh, I think that just showed that. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're almost there. Probably, what, another 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. Nope, another 28 minutes, so according to Google Maps. Uh, and we're going to hit the bank, get some cash before we head off to Shirgao Island. But we're probably going to have to go to a vet here get a document for Wanagi, like clearance, so she can go to the island because they're a little stricter, I think, on that island. I've read someone else's uh, blog, and uh, just so we have that paperwork just in case. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Kids are doing like hip hop dance moving in um, little groups of kids uh, doing their hip hop, young young teens, I should say, not kids. And uh, they've got some like choreography uh, groups that they're doing, which is kind of cool. And then you got the little skater rats over here on the other side doing their kick flips and things like that. One of these in just about every town I've been into, the town name and then I love because TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and blogging and all that is pretty huge in the Asian world countries. Uh, there's some amazing uh, trees in here though. I don't know what type of trees they are, but they're massive, probably 40, 50 inch bases on some of them, but they just have all these like roots or viney types things growing up and around them. It's pretty amazing. Pretty cool, all through here. And we were hanging out with some skater kids earlier. It's pretty cool. But uh, I was gonna give them a bunch of stickers. I only got four stickers, so I kind of feel bad, but I'm gonna tell them they gotta do best trick and they get a sticker. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. We're here down at the port, uh, heading to Shergao Island. Shergao Island. I don't pronounce the A right, I think. But uh, yeah, our ship's in here, but sun's coming up here early in the morning. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, look at the little houses on the water here. This place uh, in the town, you can tell, it just got devastated by, by the storm. Uh, 
Hurricane Odette just wiped this place out pretty bad. Um, but uh, it's recovering slowly but surely. But everywhere you look, you see some of these buildings, the tops are gone, some of the walls are gone. The force of the storm, I saw video of it. Uh, excuse the beeping. The force of the storm, even despite the, me seeing all the video I saw, uh, I didn't comprehend the power of the storm. Like, it is incredible the damage it did. And I even went to Hurricane Katrina and did a bunch of sawing after that one. And, and I saw some things that were pretty amazing, but uh, it's just uh, really, uh, again, at being at ground zero, seeing the devastation of it. Um, but anyways, uh, I just thought I'd show you this port. It's beautiful this morning with these boats down here, the water and the sun's coming up over here behind us, you can see massive uh, thunderhead or I don't, just the clouds going up in the air it's beautiful got a little stowaway back there Wanagi's in the back here I don't know if you can see if it's bright enough but uh, see behind me the sun's coming up we're in the Shergao city port uh, and we're headed to Shergao island and I don't think I'm pronouncing that right I always everyone always corrects me <laughs> anyways but uh, our boat's right here. We're not loading up yet. We'll be in a few, I think. Uh, I don't think it leaves till seven though, so. Um, but anyways, short boat ride, maybe 30 minutes or at the max, I think. And then I'll get to the island, drive around, check it out, maybe do some things. And But uh, really start asking around, asking people to see if we can't find a place to rent here. Uh, and if that's even together possible. So we'll see. All right. Hey, how's it going? So we're on the ferry headed to Shergal Island. Thought I'd share this with you. But this is how stacked in the, the trucks are. Woo! Literally squeezing between. Ah! Ah! Just squeezing Banagi, no pulling. Okay. Holy moly. That is tight. excited and uh, tired. <laughs> it's been a long time. Obviously, and it's just so beautiful. The water is just this dark, just amazing blue. We're in our way again through the shifts back to our vehicle. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Tight squeeze. Over 
here. And then around that side's Pacific Ocean and Cloud Nine, surfing, all that. And this would be General Luna City, I think. I think, I'm not sure what port. I just said, give me the Shirgao Island, that's all. So, anyways, that's it. How are you doing? Are you excited? Direction, we're coming into DAPA. So it's not um, General Luna City. General Luna City's out, out around that point down there. So this is DAPA, the port of DAPA on Shirgao Island. So we're officially on uh, Shirgao Island. Shirgao, I think is how it's pronounced anyways. I'll get it down. Someone will correct me enough times here. Uh, but we're driving on the island. So excited. Uh, a relief to be here. This is where we really, I think, want to try and put our feet down. Just because the surfing and beach life and all that. We'll see what we can figure out over the next few days. Um, and kind of go from there. But we're headed to General... Luna City, which is uh, the big city just before you go around the corner to all the surf break, Cloud 9, all that stuff. Uh, and it's a bigger city, so maybe we can find an apartment in there too. Anyways, uh, but I just wanted to share with you because we're pretty freaking excited. Pretty amazing. Anyways. Let's show you this. It's off the side of the road here. Uh, see all these palm trees? And there's no tops in them. Like literally, I've just driven for miles and miles and probably maybe more than half don't have tops to them anymore. Uh, those are the ones that are still standing anyways. And then a bunch are broken off down low near the ground. Uh, and then you can see this is a highway. This is Hurricane Odette went through here and just hammered this. The storm surge, this is what happened. It took the whole road out here. Um, pretty crazy. But it's uh, just been, you know, driving around Shigao Islands is uh, just the devastation from the Hurricane Odette or the Typhoon Odette is uh, very evident still. And we're about six months, six, six and a half months after. Uh, and it's just everywhere you look, it's like the destruction is crazy. Um, the people are trying to come back and they're being very resilient here. Um, but it's very evident that people are struggling. Um, this beach down here is amazing. Uh, it just goes on forever. Big white sand beach. I think we'll end up down there. I just kind of wanted to go out and check out this point here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's low tide, so it's down pretty low, but uh, rocky shore this way. And uh, we're going to move through here. I'll see if we can't get a better view for you here there's just these vines growing everywhere and on the vines are these amazing purple flowers they almost look like paper mache they just don't look real they're pretty cool pretty amazing there's another one they just don't look real they look like paper mache so pretty hey so how's it going welcome to philippines um i'm in a mall i'm actually in kegan de oro uh, and uh, we came from Shirgao because my laptop uh, won't open up. It won't uh, turn on and I can't charge it. So I think the battery went dead and then something's wrong with the charge port. It must have got uh, electricity problem with the plugins here because it's a different uh, wattage or whatever you want to voltage or whatever. So, but I was trying to come in the mall. Normally you just have a pair of diapers on the dog. That's it. And then I provide my immunity or my uh my shot record for covid but in this mall you got to get a thing called a pet pass right and it's required to come into the mall well essentially all it is is they want 100 pesos from you i mean they don't check medical records nothing to give me this i just pay 100 bucks i have to go inside the mall to get it though they don't even have it conveniently located near the outside yes i'm bitching because i i'm allowed to so but this is just crazy today, you know? Uh, having to jump through hoops like a circus animal sometimes here is overwhelming or just frustrating. But you know, this is lessons to learn and this is where I gotta get more patience and tolerance. And it's a different culture and I get all that. 
but man I got a learning curve and and that's my own fault I don't blame the Philippines you know at all on that it's it's I'm I'm sharing where I'm coming from because that's all I can do and so I need to get more patience and tolerance I need to learn to be able to do what I need to do to accomplish things here which takes a little bit more effort and a little more patience and uh and a lot more pesos too so but uh, they have gopro 9 in here so i'll be able to get a second gopro in case this one goes down have a backup and then they have the micro sd extreme card so i'm going to get two of those so worst case scenario i can just start loading up sd cards and worry about editing later because my videos are all the way till september i believe somewhere in september every friday are being loaded but i just wanted to share where i'm at because this is reality of uh, being in a different country as a foreigner and not understanding how things work. And I'm learning, and uh, like I said, I just gotta be more patient, but she's a hot dog, but we're gonna go in the AC, hang out most of the day probably, if they can fix my laptop today, uh, whether it takes a day or a week, we're gonna stay here in Caga de Oro and, uh, and hook it up. Maybe we'll meet some cool people and have a good time. So, peace! And security hooked us up with this parking. Look at this, yeah! Thank you, hero. <laughs> Appreciate it. So we're gonna head in and uh, we got our pet pass, passport thing. And uh, we could use this probably other place. Go, oh, I got a pet passport. So we'll see. Peace out. Off to the Power Max Center here in the mall in Kegan de Oro so we can get the laptop fixed. Like I said earlier, we had to jump through a couple hoops just to get it done, but we're getting it done now. She likes the mall. It's nice and cool in here. It's AC, so it's a nice thing. We'll spend the whole day in here, get food, hang out, Wanagi, get her a burger. It'll be awesome. All right, we'll catch in with you in a little bit. Get some money. Come on this way, buddy. Woo. Hey, so solution to the power book going down. We found Power Max Center here in Kega de Oro in the mall. And uh, this gentleman here is helping me and uh, so grateful. I got the extended Apple Care warranty because it's still under warranty. Uh, I think I still got over another year on that, but uh, that way I don't have to pay for the service, just the parts probably or something, I don't know. But uh, here's the baby, not, not doing so hot, but we'll get it healthy and uh, get back to using it. So anyways, so stoked. And also gonna buy some of these so that I have backup now in case it goes down again. So for the drone, I've already filled up uh, a 64 gigabyte and a 128 gigabyte card on the GoPro. So, which I'm using right now and it's literally blinking because it's almost out of memory on the card so we're gonna buy a couple more of those so we have those for backup and uh, when Nagi's enjoying the AC yeah, little buddy. <laughs> she's loving it like I said we're gonna grab lunch hang out in the mall it's probably gonna take three or four days at least so whatever we're gonna settle in for a few hey so we're just gonna cruise the mall grab something to eat uh, I dropped the MacBook off at the service center here, an Apple service center in Caga de Oro. Uh, they're gonna probably call me tomorrow or the next day at the latest to kind of give me an update on whether it's a battery issue or the motherboard issue. They're not sure until they kind of figure out. Astrophizing, we won't know till they do a diagnosis on the MacBook and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, uh, also that it might take a couple weeks, so we may, ha I don't know what we're doing as far as where we're gonna live all that yet. Uh, through the parts and get the computer fixed. There's just no other way around it. It needs to get done, so. Uh, at least it was under Apple Care warranty, which is huge. So uh, it's not gonna cost us an arm and leg, which it possibly could have before. So anyways, uh, oh look, a stage. We're gonna go take pictures and film with Wanagi. Wanagi's being a little rock star in front of the 2022, huh buddy? Yeah, all right. Hey! Hey, look, doctor. Okay. Hey, how's it going? So we're solving our problem, or at least getting a backup to our problem. We just got 228 gigabyte micro SDs. So if our computer goes down again, uh, we can have the 
footage on there without erasing it, even though we put it on the Mac. Again, if it gets fixed, I kind of talked about that earlier. And then we also bought another uh, GoPro. It's actually a GoPro 9, which is different than what I am recording on. It's, I'm on an 8 right now, which is a great one, but it's kind of outdated. Uh, but for me, it's perfect. I just mean manufacturing-wise. So I needed a backup GoPro too, so I could do multiple camera angles. Uh, and uh, it'll just make life easier. But we're getting these little micro SD cards so that we don't have a problem in the future. Another way to just back up, back up, back up. Because if I lose that footage, I've lost a month worth of footage. And so I'm gonna learn my lesson. Lesson learned, talk to you later. Wanagi's napping. She had too much pizza. Yep, too much pizza.